Welcome back. Prostate cancer. It's the second most common cancer among men in the United States. With the recent news of Al Roker's unfortunate prostate cancer diagnosis, we've invited our local experts to share some resources and answer some questions. Today we have Dr. Conrad Tobert from Spectrum Health Cancer Center here to discuss risk factors and talk about screening guidelines. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being here. Can you tell us a little bit about Al Roker's diagnosis specifically? Yes. Unfortunately, as you said, he was diagnosed recently with prostate cancer, and we know prostate cancer is very common. It affects one in nine men in their lifetime. And unfortunately, it's also very deadly. It's the second most deadly cancer in men behind lung cancer. That's amazing that, to think that one in nine, not even one in 10, are going to get this over their lifetime and it's very deadly how can what can we do to prevent it obviously when it comes to lung cancer they say quit smoking when it comes to prostate cancer what can we do that's been studied often unfortunately there isn't a uh, preventative medicine that we can provide and they've looked at medicines they've looked at different vitamins and nothing has been shown to uh, help prevent prostate cancer one thing we know has been effective has been catching it early and we do that in the form of screening for prostate cancer. And what does that look like, a screening for prostate cancer? Specifically talk about the PSA blood test. Like how does that help with early detection? I think a lot of men, when they hear prostate test or a prostate cancer examination, they think of one specific thing that might not be overly comfortable for them. So there is a blood test though. How, how does someone request this and what does that look like? Absolutely. So the, the blood test is called PSA or prostate specific antigen. And that is a blood marker that can be drawn um, after your primary care provider orders it. And it's uh, tested in the lab and uh, elevation in that blood marker can tick off alarm bells to make people more concerned that they have uh, prostate cancer. Uh, a part of screening is also performing that digital exam that you uh, mentioned in conjunction with the blood test and the digital exam, it allows us to identify men who are more suspicious or at risk for prostate cancer. And that elevation in prostate or PSA or prostate specific antigen will then uh, you know, trigger an evaluation with your urologist. And when, once we've gone through that examination and we've got the, uh, the diagnosis back, treatment, surgery, what does that look like? So, Prostate cancer comes in all different shapes and sizes. I always tell my patients that. Um, with Al Roker specifically, he mentioned that he had a more aggressive prostate cancer and his physicians and surgeons recommended surgical removal of the prostate. We know that if patients have a lower risk prostate cancer, they can be observed and we call that active surveillance. For the more aggressive types of prostate cancer, we can treat it either with radiation or surgery. Um, here at Spectrum Health, we use the uh, robotic uh, da Vinci system to laparoscopically remove the prostate. And uh, we know that using that robotic system has allowed us to get patients um, out of the hospital sooner, recover faster, and also have less complications. Yep, so all the video and the images of that da Vinci machine, quite a bit of technology there. But when it comes to other types of cancer, we hear about genetics. We hear about know your family history. Does that apply here as well? Absolutely. So uh, a little bit more about screening. We always recommend screening for men um, between the ages of 55 and 70. So that is, again, in the form of a blood test and a digital exam by your pr uh, primary care provider. Patients who are more at risk, we recommend earlier screening between the ages of 40 and 55. And those at-risk at patients, like you said, are folks who have uh, higher family history, um, specifically a father or a brother, close first degree relative. Um, or other histories of lethal adenocarcinomas, um, breast, ovarian, or pancreatic cancer in the family. Also, uh, another element of patients who are at risk are African Americans. Unfortunately, we know that African Americans have doubled the risk of prostate cancer when compared to the rest of the population. That's an alarming number, double the risk. So know your family history, get those genetics. If there's any cancer running in your family, African-American families especially, you're gonna wanna get screened earlier than, well, the, the rest of us, right? 55 and up, well, unless you have a family history, then 40. Anything else we should know about this cancer or just basically general cancer screenings to keep up on for folks watching right now? What I always recommend to my patients is uh, for, for prostate cancer, what we just talked about, but if there's other um, screening, uh, for other cancers to talk to your primary care provider. 
Um, you know, here at Spectrum Health, if you go to the Spectrum Health website, you can uh, search prostate cancer and get more information about what we talked about. But there's also a find a doctor tab that allows you to get connected with a primary care provider if you do not have one. Perfect. Thank you so much for just taking the time this morning and sharing that information with us. Spectrum Health Cancer Center is waiting for you. SpectrumHealth.org slash cancer. Got any questions? There's the website for you.